Good morning, car people. I hope you're all keeping well. I've got a video here for you today. Just an update. Look, we're in February already. January has just absolutely flown by. Uh, closed out the month with the sales of the Mini and the Jaguar that you saw. I had a lovely little Peugeot in stock for about two months. Spent too much on it. I spent money on servicing, new brakes, new tires. I didn't have a single inquiry. Sent it to my friend's forecourt in Staines. He sold the car within three days. The power of a forecourt, hey? If you've been watching recent videos, you'll have seen that uh, we sustained damage in the recent storms. The house was covered in scaffolding. That has now been removed. And um, on Monday, I've got to take this Mercedes here. Let me just turn the camera around. And this car has got to go to the body shop. It also sustained a bit of damage there. Look at that. So, yeah, that will go off on Monday, comes back, and I've already got a customer lined up to purchase. So, house is looking good. New ridge tiles up there. Garage is fixed as well. I can now start getting cars to the forecourt. And on that note, I am off to Southampton to pick up a lovely lovely car you're going to like this one my train leaves in 45 minutes i need to get to the station so i'm going to pack my bag get on the road and see you on route right i'm at the station got five minutes to go let's go and get a ticket The next station is Totten. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. So that was rather easy. From Woking to Southampton and one stop down to a place called Totten. I'm on the south coast and I'm just outside the station now waiting for the gentleman to come and collect me and take me back to the car that we're buying. We're off to a place called Hythe which is um, about 10 miles from here so it won't be long before we get to see the car. The gentleman has picked me up from the station and we're now back at his apartment block. He doesn't really want to be on camera talking but this is the car under the cover here. I wonder if you can tell what it is yet. We're going to get it out and then I'm going to take it somewhere nicer to photograph and show you all around it. So here she is in all her glory, something a bit different from the black, silver and grey cars that you see. This is actually Tornado Red. Previous owner has actually adorned it with a bonnet badge and some louvers on the bonnet there, and what looks like a, a wing badge from a Jaguar. So they're going to be coming off. I had intended to take a video and some images of the car in the marina, but I couldn't find my way to that, and I've ended up in the New Forest. If anyone recognises this backdrop, so I'm conscious that it's very noisy and windy at the same time so it's a short video for now i'll get it back on to the driveway at home and do a walk around video for you there and then go off to be prepared and ready for sale but i hope you like it something a bit different right just driving through the forest here and we've got some cows wandering across the road Right, so we're nicely underway now. The last time I saw you, I was in the New Forest. I actually went for a spot of lunch with a friend of mine. And um, now I'm in the M3, heading home about an hour to go. I 
didn't show you the interior of the car before. You can see a bit of it from this angle. What do you think? It's called Sahara Tan. So Tornado Red, Sahara Tan. An interesting combination. It's got lovely piano black veneers, black accents. Um, I really like it. I might feel that it's a bit Marmite to some, but I'm, I'm impressed actually. It's, um, it's really nice. I, I really in vogue colour at the moment as well. If you see some of the Ferraris that are coming out at the moment, they've got that lovely tan interior. So it um, seems like it might be a good one. Well, we'll find out if anyone likes it. So while I was setting the camera up, I was following someone sitting in the middle lane for about three miles. And I, get, I got the camera set up, I was going to film it. That's a pet hate of mine that she finally pulled over. But middle laners and outside laners, aren't they a pain? You know, no wonder there's so many traffic jams, is there, with people that block the roads like that. I suppose also why I'm talking about pet hates, something else came to mind unsolicited emails and they start off I hope you're okay first of all they don't spell you're correctly they don't have an apostrophe with the RE and secondly they don't care if I'm okay they don't know who I am why are you asking if I'm okay so another please stop with that right, I'm going to concentrate on the road get the car back do a final walk around, and then the car will be going off to be checked, have some bits done to it, we'll give it a really good clean and polish, and then you'll see the car come onto market, hopefully in about a week's time. But if anyone is interested, hit me up, you've got my details, www.streamcars, call me directly, call me directly, I'm easy to find, I look forward to hearing from you. As usual, like and subscribe, please to the video, you'll get to see any new content and new vehicles that come to the channel. I've also upped the social media game, I've just started on TikTok and that's getting some good engagement so I hope people are enjoying that. Until I get back and finish the video, thanks for watching, see you soon. And there she is back home. Drove really well. Sounds quite throaty, I suspect, because of those exhaust tips. I don't know whether to leave them on or not, but um, jury's maybe a bit out on that. Tell me what you think about these bonnet vents. Do you agree they should come off? I think we're gonna have this badge off the side here. The exhaust tips, they poke out. They're a bit barry, aren't they? We'll see what happens. We'll get it in, get it checked. There's a little bit of a wheel wobble. I don't know whether that's a buckled wheel or just some weights have fallen off. Let's get you into this interior though. This might divide opinion. What do we make of that? It's called Sahara Tan. Got the Vanquish S logo and the stitching through the middle piano black obviously all the latest infotainment i really like it but welcome your opinions guys as always so i'm finishing off here as i asked you before like and subscribe and look forward to my next video thank you